and hello again everyone and welcome to the Tartarus Key. My name is Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and today we are playing the final release version of a game that we played the demo of a couple of weeks ago, or I guess a couple of months ago now. Tartarus Key is pretty much an old style point and click adventure game where you have been kidnapped and trapped in a strange mansion by unknown persons and you're not alone in here you've got other abductees with you so it turns into a game of who can you rescue and who can you trust um, I've played the demo so we're going to be going through the same things of the demo today which means this is going to be a little shorter than a lot of other sessions might be because honestly I've solved the demo but I didn't want to just start at the end of the demo I wanted to go ahead and go from where we had been in the past so let's get started uh, with new game yeah that was creepy Uh, fall asleep at work much okay you're Alex where are you you're in an office it looks like uh, what's going on my head is killing me last thing I remember I was at home and ugh ah I wait where am I I told you, Alex, it said you were in an office. What is this place? It's an office. Hello? Hello? Nobody's here. Okay, okay, okay. Breathe, Alex. You can and will freak out later. Right now, you have to find out what's going on. I was actually reading those because I didn't know how long to leave it on the screen for anyone out there to read so now again having played the game before I know it's not gonna let me do anything until I walk over here and investigate the glowy thing so we have to go investigate the glowy thing thank you hello anyone there oh man is this thing broken you behind this what Hello? Is this a joke? Because I'm not laughing. And neither will you when I get out of here. Whoa, whoa, I just woke up here. We're, we're in the same boat, I think. Let's say I believe you. What's your story? Who are you? Um, we'll be nice. My name's Alex. And my story is that I'm in an office? one I've never seen before. Last thing I remember, I was at home and I woke up, found this walkie-talkie, and now we're talking. They're short-range radios. I don't care what they are. I'm this close to a full-blown freakout. Who are you? What is this? Okay, okay, Alex. Listen to me. I need you to take a second and breathe. Freaking out isn't going to help anyone. My name is Torres. Hi, Torres. I'm a PI. A uh, private investigator? Thank God. So you know what's going on, right? You, we can get out of here? Um, I can see the pieces coming together. So in other words, you have no idea. It means I have some idea, all right? I was working a case for an anonymous client. Sounds like something out of a movie. Yeah, usually is, but a stack of cash convinced me to at least give it a look. Turns out somebody they knew had gone missing. Oh, no. Figured it was the usual deal. Someone just deciding to walk away from their old life. Happens all the time, but it didn't add up. And it shared a lot of similarities with some old, cold cases I pulled up. I thought I was just being paranoid, but it looks like there's something bigger going on. Putting that aside, all the speculation in the world won't matter if we can't get out of these rooms. You're trapped too? Looks like. Same deal as you, sounds like. 
a locked door and no apparent way out. Not the first time I've been in a situation like this. It's not your first time. Keep a cool head. Take a look around. There has to be a way out. See what you can find. I'll do the same. Okay, okay. Just stay in touch, okay? Now the game gives you optimal conversations, but there's a limited amount of time, so... That was fast. You found something? No, I was just thinking about what you said. You said these weren't walkie-talkies? Right. They're short-range radios. What's the difference? Saying walkie-talkie makes it sound like a child's toy. Okay. Okay, well, thank you, Detective Pitt. If they're the same thing, doesn't that mean we have to be close to talk? It would depend on the strength of the signal, but you're right. If one of us can escape, they'll be able to help the other, hopefully. That's getting ahead of ourselves, though. First, we have to focus on the task at hand. Okay, message received. Um, over? You don't have to say that just because... Never mind. All right. We have a flashlight. Thank you, game. And we can look around a bit here. Um, so let's start looking around. We've got... I wonder how much these cost. They look like they belong in a museum. Cue Indiana Jones voice. It belongs in a museum. One of these is probably worth more than my grandma's house. Why specifically your grandma's house? And not your house or your mother's house or... The standard globe. Um, coffee cup. This drawer is locked, and that means I won't in. And as near as I can tell, there's no way to crouch or kneel, so I can get a better look in there. There's a camera up here that is panning to follow me. A security camera? Wait, is it following me? Okay, so let's talk. So... Does your creepy room also have a camera tracking your every move? Yes, first thing I noticed. Someone wanted to watch us. Fantastic, this keeps getting better. Okay. Um, there's a postcard here from Alaska. Tab gives us our inventory. And we can look at the back of it by hitting E. I found it. The one that pieces it all together. People will call me mad, but they have to know the truth. I fear we've already passed the point of no return. This message will be my last for a while. Goodbye and thank you. They've underlined the word one. Wonder why. Okay, I'll just leave on the back. There's an old couch here. Uh, Alex thinks that it looks old, but it's actually brand new. And what do you want to talk about now? I just keep thinking, why am I here? Why me? You can't think of any reason you'd be kidnapped? What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a courier? Kinda. Kinda? Could you think of a more suspicious response? No, I mean, I just pick up whatever work I can, you know? Delivering packages is easy. It's not like it's a proper job for me. Not something I care about. Well, maybe one of those packages meant something. Or went to someone who didn't want to leave any traces. Or maybe you saw something on a run. I mean, no. I don't think so. Look, it's just something I do to get by. I'm not involved in anything. Well, I highly doubt you're here for no reason. Think on it. Okay, um... Impossibly dark, can't see much. Is that a forest in the distance? No roads, cars, or anything. Must be in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Again. You said you're locked in some kind of creepy room? I didn't say creepy, but yes. Looks like an old Victorian-style bedroom. Hmm, Victorian. Yeah, I guess you could say the place looks like that. It's fancy and old, anyway close enough. 
I can't see much outside my window, but it looks like we're in a big old house. Nothing out there but the dark and the woods. I would have been too much to hope for a payphone. I would kill for a convenience store with a hot dog display. Torres, are we really going to get out of here? Start small. Start with getting out of the office. One thing at a time. All right. Now, the thing I don't know is... I can see a forest, and what floor am I on? I'm on the first floor or the second floor. Because there's a chair over there that I bet I could put through a window. But none of the game is not going to let me do that. Um, books. I think some of these are Latin, but that doesn't help me any. Oh, again. There are a lot of books lying around. Most of them are in old languages, like Latin. You can't read Latin? Uh, no. Can you? A little. Why can't you? Sorry, I was busy cramming for school and working three part-time jobs. Touche. Okay. Okay, Torres, if you're a PI, why did you learn Latin? Okay. Another postcard. This one's from England. And this one says... I know it's unorthodox, but it's safer this way. I never had a chance to explain, but I promise it'll make sense once I'm back. Until then, seven pillars. They're essential. Best CW. Someone has underlined the word seven and noted seven, but what's the order? Okay. Um, I'm going to go over here next. Open this drawer. There's another postcard. This one's from Hawaii. It says, I'm inching closer day by day. We have so much to discuss. I have attached four of my notebooks. I can trust no one else to keep them safe until I return. Okay. Nobody, no underline, no one commented, so maybe whoever it was hadn't found this one. But whatever. There's some more books. These books are too close to that flame. Looks like somebody was looking for something. There are books all over the floor. Have they fallen from the bookshelf? No, it looks like someone was searching for something. Hmm, sounds like someone who was looking for something. Sort of like you are. What does that mean for us? This place doesn't feel like a home. But there are still signs that someone was here before me. Scuff marks on the floor from where the furniture are being moved, for instance. More than if you were just setting the room up. I'm starting to think that we're not the only people who've been in this situation. So what, we're just the latest victims? No, and don't call yourself that. I refuse to be anyone's victim. We're getting out of here. We have to. Candles have been burning down for a while. Obviously put there when you were... Whoa, these books look old. Like, I shouldn't even breathe on them old. Hmm. Looks like a lot of Latin, some French, even... Is that Greek? Miss Chatty here. I don't think I've ever seen so many books outside of a library. It's going to take forever to search through them all. If I'm right, you won't have to. They're likely just props. Props? Set dressing. Trying to make this place look real. You don't think this is a real mansion? Oh, it's a real mansion, just not one anyone has ever actually lived in. This place, it's almost theatrical. Combine that with the cameras. What? Are you saying you think we're entertainment? I think so. But why? That's sick. You haven't watched a lot of reality TV, have you, Alex? I don't know, and I agree. For now, all we can do is keep pushing forward. Yeah, I can see... <sighs> you know... Abductee Mansion! C is our latest victims. Try to find... Okay. Here's another postcard. Okay. I found it! The one that pieces it all together. People will call me mad, but they have to know the truth. I fear we've already passed the point of no return. This message will be last for a while. Goodbye and thank you, CW. They've underlined the word one. 
Oh, this was Alaska, not the one I just got. That's the oh, first one. Duh. Okay. Three days rooting through a library before stumbling upon anything remotely helpful. This is bigger than I possibly could have imagined. Take care of yourself. They're watching. Best CW. Who is CW? I mean, besides a TV network that would probably air a reality show like this. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, let's go look over here. I looked in this drawer, but not down here. Empty. Someone had a good time. Or a really, really bad time. Too bad they didn't leave any for us. I could use a beer right now. I don't know about Alex. Okay. There's a safe here. There's a statue. A horse head sculpture. Cool if you're into animal parts as decor, I guess. Oh, you're not going to talk about that? Okay. It's got an old Greek vase. Okay, here's the safe. Looks like I'll need a key code. No point in trying to guess it. Uh, speak for yourself, Alex. Some of us are fine with that sort of thing. But okay. You've got four possible numbers, and what do you know? We have four postcards that happen to have numbers on them. One, seven, uh, four, and three. Okay. This message will be last for a while. So this sounds like the last message. So I'm going to say that one is the last number. This one looks like he just left. He's talking about it being unorthodox. Um, I promise it'll make sense when I'm back. Until then, seven pillars. They're essential. So let's assume seven is first, one is last. That leaves us a four and a three. Now, if you're going from start in England and end in Alaska, if you go west, you're not going to go through either Hawaii or Japan because you'd hit Alaska first. But if you start in England and go east, you'll hit Japan, then Hawaii, then Alaska. So let's assume he went in a straight line. We know we started in England, so we'll start with seven. We'll do seven, three, four, one. Let's see what happens. Seven, three, four, one. How about that? Here's a key. So we have a key now. And if you notice, okay, the postcards are still there. Uh, we still have a um, drawer over here we can't lock, can't get into. And Alex still wants to, but we don't have anything. So, let's just remember there's a drawer over here we haven't gotten into. Okay, time to get out of here. Creek. I've had a thought. Yeah? About how my room is empty. No puzzles, nothing locked, nothing out of place. Except for this radio. Okay. Why would they give us a way to talk to each other? Give me a way to help you. Because... Your only way out is me? You have to guide me to you? I'm... We're the puzzle. Precisely. Cool. No pressure. You made it out of the office. I know that together we can solve this. I hope you're right. Uh, Torres, how did you know I made it out of the office? I didn't tell you that. You just got on the radio as soon as I walked out of the office. Now, maybe it's just me being paranoid, but why? Close that door for now. Okay, hello. Okay, what do we got? We've got a painting here. I wonder what this one means. Two liquids... The duality of man. Or maybe it's just two fancy potions. I'm not sh not an artist. The canvas looks damaged on the right side. It, like it's been torn purposefully. Okay. So we have what looks like a... Oh. 
What kind of person goes to the trouble of kidnapping someone and designing elaborate puzzles for them to solve? Like, what's the point? In a case like this, I'd say ego. Someone clearly has a lot of time and influence. Possibly even money to do something this elaborate. Possibly? Yeah, it would cost a lot of money to do this. Also, why is there still question marks over your head when you've already introduced yourself as Torres? People don't usually go such dramatic lengths just to kill someone. Not when anything else will do. A knife, a gun, your bare hands, even your teeth. I get the extremely vivid picture. Uh, picture. Uh, teeth, Torres, really. Well, point being, someone clearly has an objective here. I also think they're making a statement, you know, showing off. Hmm, what about these postcards? From the room you woke up in? What about them? I don't know, they're just weird. It sounds like someone was researching something. But uh, they also seem sort of paranoid? Could be just set dressing, you know, theming. Our clues, Doris, they were the clues that opened the safe. I mean, look at this place. It's traumatic in the extreme. I guess we'll probably no never know who CW was, huh? We should be worrying about ourselves before anyone else. Okay. Yeah. When I played the demo, I referred to this thing as a escape room. And that's what it is. And they left the clues as the postcards, because that's a thing an escape room would do. And I've played quite a few of those in real life. So I'm kind of approaching this as an escape room. So that's why I'm looking at things the way I do. Like here, we've got a cylinder and a little uh, martini glass shaped thing that's some dark color and yellow. Okay. Now right here, I have a white bottle. That's now in my inventory. And there's some paintings here. Renaissance painting with a woman who is, with a lady who is absolutely over this crap. Honestly, same. Okay. Uh, you don't want to tell Taurus about that? Couch. An extravagant looking sofa. You'd be legally required to wear at least three petticoats to lounge on it. Okay. A telephone. An absolute ancient rotary phone. It doesn't work, of course. I didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, but you want to talk to Torres about it, huh? Hey, there's a phone here, but it's dead. Now Torres has a name. Okay. Here, too. It's hollow on the inside. It's just a prop designed to give you hope. You think they put that much thought into it? Alex, the cameras, the designs of the room, the puzzles. Every part of this place feels designed with a purpose. Even that purpose is give some rich maniac their jollies. We're the actors, and somewhere there's an audience. Oh, that's creepy. I am find I'm angrier than I am afraid. Getting there. Okay, more candles. Uh, bed. And there's literally nothing I can do about this bed. Okay, over here. Got a, va a vase. Okay. An antique vase. Not a single rupee hidden inside. Ah, Legend of Zelda joke. Clock. A broken clock. And you want to tell Taurus about that. A broken clock. Oh, a broken clock. Reminds me of a case I worked once. Back before I was a PI, I was a police officer. Oh, a real-life cop story. Ever heard of the infamous clock killer? I'm immediately filled with regret. Clocks kept turning up at crime scenes. There was a death on the streets. Strangulation by pocket watch. Crushings by giant ornamental clocks. Once we even found a victim impaled on a sundial. This is insane. How have I never heard about this? Especially that last one. You'd think it would be big news. I wouldn't blame you for missing it. It took us years to realize it was even the same person. The most punctual serial killer I've ever had the pleasure of putting behind bars. You are a fountain of all the worst knowledge. Okay. You didn't make the a broken clock is still correct twice a day joke, but okay. Documents. Bunch of old documents with designs and equations. Looks like it'll be nothing that looks like it'll get me out of here or like it might be a clue. Up here we have a painting. A still life of a white vase. Real art class 101 stuff. 
the canvas looks torn on the left and right sides. Okay. Now, I'll point out that we have a bottle filled with white liquid here. And our bottle filled with white liquid kind of has the same shape of that vase. Kind of. See? Rounded and flared, rounded and flared. Let's just keep that in mind. Okay. Over here, notebook. Humorism. The humoral theory, or humoralism, was the system of medicine detailing a supposed makeup and workings of the human body adopted by ancient Greek and Roman physicians and philosophers. The four humors of Hippocratic medicine are black, bile, yellow bile, phlegm, and blood. Each corresponds to one of the traditional four temperaments. The proper blending and balance of the four humors was known as eucrasia, and I will assume I pronounced that wrong. While science has since moved far past these ancient beliefs rooted in the primitive Western understanding of how the multiverse worked, there are still those who believe that there is a certain truth to these old teachings. After all, what truly makes up a man? Are we not all the sum of our parts, our bodies merely flesh and blood and meat? A physician named Duncan McDougall, McDougall theorized that the soul had physical weight, 21 grams in fact. Does this not imply the soul itself could also be a substance present in the body? Something that could be seen, felt, perhaps even extracted. Such ideas seem flights of fantasy, but to be sure, but the possibilities are endless. Yeah, fine. Let's pick up the yellow bottle. Okay, we have a yellow bottle. Over here, we have another painting. Torn on the left, and you notice we've got a red and a green. Check out these drawers. We have a black bottle, a big cylindrical black bottle. That one's broken. The rest of the drawers have their handles. Odd, in that case, it's clearly the most important drawer. You've got to get it open. Sure, I just have to work out how. Going out the last room, it'll be some puzzle. You were able to solve that one. Well, hopefully it is a puzzle and not just a home repair someone half-assed. Let's think positive. If there was ever a whole ass start situation, it's this one. Okay, the fact that he immediately knew that that drawer, she had found a drawer without a handle, I'm going to have to assume just like when he talked about getting out of the office when we just left the door over here i'm going to have to assume that she actually started the conversation and told him and we just didn't get that little piece we have a green bottle now okay we have four bottles at the moment a display cabinet filled with knickknacks Nothing jumps out as useful. Okay. Um, let's go back over here. Oh, here, here we go. We have a red bottle. Okay. Now, we have five bottles. They mentioned the four humors, but we have five. Over here, we have a picture showing two things. A cylindrical black bottle and a martini glass shaped yellow bottle that is torn on the right. Which means, if this was part of a much larger picture, it would have been the leftmost. Now, we have a black bottle and a yellow bottle that has kind of that martini glass shape. Interesting. So, over here, we have a white bottle, or a white painting, torn on both sides. So, if it was part of a larger painting, it would have been the middle. And, oh look, we have a white bottle about the same color. And over here, we have a painting torn on the left, which means it would have been the rightmost. And it has a red and a green. And if you notice, our green has kind of that flared and straight shape. And our red has that low squat shape, even the double. So these obviously match. So if we go here, we have five bottle stands. 
one of these bottles I have might fit perfectly. So, remember, it started with the black one. <laughs> then we went to the yellow martini one. The p torn painting with just the white liquid was in the middle. And the one just to my left had a red bottle and a green bottle. And there we go. That must have done it. Okay, I've got a key. Now let's get out of here. Got it. Alex 2, creepy has house creepy ass house zero. That's easy for me to say apparently. Sorry, I just brushed my teeth and can't do anything with them. Um I'm now in the West Wing. I made it out of the room. I'm in a hallway. Good, that's progress. I can see, ah, uh, there's a boarded up door covered in blood. We were bound to see some blood eventually. Kidnapping doesn't usually have a happy ending. The important thing is it isn't our blood. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I can hear something. I think it's your voice. You must be close. I'll knock on my door. Try to follow the sound. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, I hear knocking. It's getting fainting, fainter. That looks... okay. Hi. That's clearly Satan. Nobody gets to criticize me on my taste and decor ever again. A boarded up door covered in blood. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that. While well, you're standing right next to it. Okay, we're definitely getting closer to the knocking. Of course, it's a painting of a giant eating a dude. And of course, it's bleeding under the floor. I hate this place so much. What the hell? Blood looks like it's coming out of the painting. Okay. Antlers. Deer antlers. Could I use those as a weapon? Eh, problem that in any practical, non humiliating way. Another camera. Grandfather clock. A grandfather clock. I've only ever seen them in movies. It's broken. What a waste of money. Uh, remember the... Yeah, it's even giving me visual noise here. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, oh, finally. Almost there. I just have to find a way to open the door. I'm going to need you to hurry. Why the rush? You know, other than being kidnapped and trapped. I think I might have hit the door too hard. I've triggered some kind of trap. The room is now filling with gas. What? All right, don't panic. The gas is coming through slowly. We've got some time. I'm going to get you out. Okay, I'll find a way. I swear. I believe in you, Alex. Just keep a calm head. My life is in your hands. No pressure. Okay, um, that's a little convenient, isn't it? Broken mirror. An old mirror, so rusted and dirty, I can probably barely see anything. I can't even make out my own features. Not much of a mirror, then, is it? Plant. Another window. Can't see th anything. It's pitch black out there. No idea where we are. Although building extends that way, but not that way. Okay. This door's not locked. It's a bathroom. My middle mouse button will zoom. Not that I want to zoom. Okay. So we're in a bathroom. They even have cameras in the bathroom. Great. Somehow this is still isn't the worst I've seen. Somehow this still isn't worse than some public toilets. So there's this toilet. Okay, you don't have to tell me everything you do. Come on, you know that's not what I'm doing. I was going to tell you that it's filled with blood. Funny. I've definitely seen worse public toilets. That's what I said! Okay. Toilet lid closed. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Um, there's some... R-A-L reversed. There's a bidet. Toilet paper. Three ply. That's how you know these people are really rich. Um, 
least they have toilet paper. Um, painting. A satanic picnic. Fits in perfectly with the blood-soaked bathroom. Is that the same painting that was out in the hallway? Another plant. Whoever's behind this sure likes plants. Found another one. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Maybe it's a clue. There's a plant in my room, too. Hum, I didn't think so. Maybe our kidnappers just secretly liked gardening. Damn it, you're right. What if they like art? We can't rule anything out. We should spend all of our boundless time talking about it. Cough. Okay, okay, sorry. Oh, there's footprints that come out of the mirror. It's a bloody, bloody footprint. Bloody footprint is a crime scene classic. For some reason, killers always forget. A forensic team can even pick up blood that's invisible to the naked eye. Well, this blood is very visible. There's got to be a reason it's all over that room, apart from shock value. Well, it looks like they... Okay, there's plenty of blood over here. Where did all this blood come from? There is a lot of blood. What kind of blood? Uh, what kind? Does it matter? Of course. Would you feel better knowing that it's not a human's? So it could be like dog's blood? Exactly. But I like dogs. I have a cat. I also like dogs. I'm just saying it might not be from a person is all. <laughs> okay. Um, more blood. There's so much blood. It's everywhere. I've never seen this much blood before. It's making me feel sick. Trust me, you don't want to vomit. Not much worse smelling than blood. Not much worse smelling than blood and vomit. Okay, you can't just say something like that. God, you lead the worst life. What have you seen? More than you would ever want to. When Case found victims hanging on meat hooks, they were being drained. Drained? The killer was drinking the blood, fancied himself at some modern-day Dracula. Freak even had one of those long, flowy white shirts. Ugh. We finally tracked him down to his lair, an obnoxious loft over in our gallery. Pretentious ass. While cuffed, he kept monologuing about his great and tragic existence. And then I guess he got a little worked up, vomited his dinner all over the poor rookie. I've never forget the stench. I know the rookie probably hasn't either. Please don't ever reminisce with me again. You ask. I regret it deeply. Yeah, but I had to hear the story. Okay. Shower. Now the camera. And more blood. This is way too much blood to be from a single person. There's so much blood. How many people would this even take? The average person has between four and six liters of blood in their body. I can't see, but you should be able to work out just a rough estimate just by looking. That was a rhetorical question. I don't like math at the best of times, much less as it relates to murder. Okay. Bathtub, of course, is full of blood. Um. <sighs> oh, by the way, these people are obviously uh, not in the U.S. Because, A, okay, we're starting to see them now, but the days are not really a U.S. thing. And he's talking in liters. But okay, so these footprints seem to come from here. We've already talked about that one, so there's no point in doing it again. Okay, a mirror. I can't see... Oh. It reveals. What reveals? I don't have time for this cryptic... What the... Wait. Torres, something weird is going on here. I mean, more weird. The reflection in the mirror isn't right. Isn't right? Yeah, it doesn't match up with, uh, real life. The reflection doesn't. Alex, you're not making sense. Look, a painting just fell down in the mirror, but it's still hanging up behind me. Okay, you need to check out that painting. Own it. Yes, this is why you're a PI. I would never have thought of that. Not. Apart from the subject matter, painting seems normal. 
Maybe there's something behind it. Oh, the wallpaper's coming off here. Light's coming through the gap in the wood, and I hear coughing? Torres, I might have found a way. Just in time. Air's getting really thick. The wall is falling apart behind the painting. There's a space and a light beyond it. I think it's line up with your room. You might be onto something. There's a vent on this side, but it doesn't lead anywhere. But how are you breaking through a wall? I'm trying to pry the planks, but they're more solid than they look. Ugh, I can't think straight. Is there anything you could use? Not that I can see. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what to do. There's no other way through. No way out. Alex, calm down. Look, they're messing with your head. I need you to pull yourself together. The minute you give up is the minute I'm dead. Think. I'm trying, but... This is too much. I can't do anything. Oh, God. Alex, snap out of it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and get me the hell out of here. I'm trying. What the fuck? What? What's happening? I... I mean, it's moving. Alex? Alex? Hell no. Absolutely not. No way. Alex? What happened? I heard a crash. Are you okay? This is insane. No, it's impossible. My reflection just moved on its own, threw a damn axe at me through the mirror. You're... what? Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm kidding. Just a joke between friends in the old death house. There's a whole room back there. Looks just like this bathroom. Cough, cough. Alex? Ah, right. Yes, Torres. There's the axe. I'll take any miracles I can get. I'm coming, Torres. Hold on. So, obviously, there was another room over there that looked just like this one. And someone over there was dressed like Alex and moving to match her down to they mirrored the toilet seat lid. See, it's closed over there still. Haha, -ha, I tricked it. Um, but how did they get out? There's a door over there, but the window outside doesn't show the door. It shows light. You see, that's just a solid wall. So that door obviously doesn't go anywhere. So how did the person in that room get out? Oh, it's a sink full of blood, of course. Nothing but a broken mirror now. Leads to an identical looking room. No point climbing in. Doesn't look like the window or door go anywhere. Uh, there was someone in there pretending to be you, Alex. They threw an axe. They got out some... Never mind. Okay. Damaged hatchet. It's part of the wall. Maybe I could smash through using the hatchet. The hatchet would definitely be destroyed, though. It's risky. Yeah, smash through. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I'm going for it. Fingers crossed. Although I am curious, can I have smashed through the door with the hatch? Not oh, bad. For a second, I thought my ticket had been pulled. Thank you. Hey, hi. No time for warm and fuzzy. Let's get out of here. We can just speed back through the hole and we'll... We'll... What? Oh, okay. What the hell? Ah, air. You never know how much you'll miss something until it's gone. You okay? Nothing I can't handle. Good to finally meet you face to face. We have a lot to talk about. I would like to get the hell out of here first. Seconded, I saw two doors, one at the end of the hall, and one that's boarded up, covered in blood. Let's start with the one not covered in blood. Lead the way. Okay. Um, 
Okay, you don't have a window in here. Because I... There's the vent you mentioned. Uh, where's the hole in the wall? Didn't I just smash a hole? Never mind. <sighs> okay. How are these sadistic kidnappers able to keep a plant alive better than me? More bases. Oh, this door is already open. Okay, whatever. Book. Is every page blank? Yes. Are you sure? Let's... Hey, there's a diagram. It's like a box with a sad-looking stick man in the middle. This could be important. I drew that. Oh. I said, and it's a neutral-looking stick man, Freud. Okay. What did you draw it with? Okay, so I guess there is a pen there. A cupboard filled with drawers. You look to this place. All the drawers? Every single one. They're all empty. I bet whoever's behind this just wanted to watch me try and fail. Um, out of curiosity, why are you talking on the walkie-talkie when you're standing ten feet away? Bed. Tried the bed? No, I did not try the bed. Because of traps? Yes, but because it looks filthy. I'd rather stand anyway. It keeps the blood pumping. And I just had these slacks dry cleaned. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, clothes rack, okay. Let's clean. Is that blood or mold? I hope it's blood, otherwise being trapped in, a, in that mold it's probably bad. We've already looked at all of these things. Yeah, that is the painting that was same painting that was in the bathroom. Okay, we've already been this way. A candle, like in the office, it can't have been lit that long ago. Hey, that door is open. It definitely wasn't like that before. Okay, we move carefully. No telling what we'll find. Oh, you're already down there? How did you walk past me? That looks kind of like a dog's head. So it's a dog in a sandstorm. Well, I'm sure it's a statement of the fleeting nature of something. Okay, yeah, that's... um. That's nothing non-ominous. Where the hell are we? This place is way bigger than I expected. Looks like some kind of central hall. We should head downstairs. Why there first? I find that most exits are on the ground floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Let's check it out. <sighs> Let's go ahead and check out while we're up here. Hey, we should head downstairs first. Check for a way out. Failing that, somewhere we can gather our thoughts. Right, sounds like a good idea. Taurus, you really don't want to do much exploring here, do you? Hey, we should head downstairs first. Check for a way out. Failing the same thing again. Okay. The game really does not want me to explore this room. So, we'll go down. Okay. Floor Zero Main Hall. Another clue that we're in Europe. There's stuff down here. What the? Over there. That room. Looks perfect. Perfect? Follow me. I'll explain. This room looks safe, for the moment. Thank you, Detective Dismal. A perfect, cheerful, morale-boosting observation. Just being practical. I think we should rest for a second and review what we know. Then we'll be able to act accordingly. Okay. So to start, we've been individually kidnapped by an unknown assailant. Left trapped inside of a house. This is clearly a person with both the means to craft elaborate, dangerous puzzles and a sick sense of humor. Okay, well, the puzzles haven't actually been dangerous yet, but 
Lives are on the line, and I've got the burning lungs to prove it. Okay, I guess that part was dangerous. So, that sounds bad. It is bad. We know next to nothing. We have no idea whether there's two of us in this mansion or 200. You think other people could possibly have been kidnapped? This place is too big. And too many things we... Too many things don't add up for it to be just the two of us. Uh, like what? Anyway, regardless, our goal is to escape. We should also attempt to find out who's behind this. Both to bring them to justice, and for me to bring them to a firm punch in the gut. If we find anyone else, well, we'll do what we can to help. Like you did for me. Right, sounds like a plan. Let's go. I can't. What? That guest did a number on me. I still can't take a deep breath, and I can barely move. I'm getting, just getting down here felt like I was trying to run a marathon. I guess that's why you're in such a hurry to get down here. Oh, look, I know I'm asking a lot of you, but you're the one who rescued me. I believe in you. We both got our radio so we can keep in contact. In the meantime, I'll poke around this room. Maybe I'll find some information. Or another S9 little puzzle, more like. At least I know who to call if that happens. Puzzle busters! You know, in movies, splitting up is always a bad idea. Don't you know you never split the party? Never mind. This isn't a movie, and we shouldn't waste time. We don't have the luxury of making the best possible choice. Ugh. This is just so bogus. Heh, <laughs> I thought the days these uh, kid... I thought these days the kids said, Oh, snap. Okay, you know what? You can critique my slang when we escape the mansion. Just promise me you'll take care while I'm gone, okay? Don't worry about me, Alex. Just be careful. You don't know what's out there. Okay. Again. Oh, it'll help if we have a map. It's not perfect, but I started drawing one. Man. Should be enough to get you started. Are you kidding? This looks amazing. How did you get such straight lines without using a ruler? Keep track of the rooms that you think have something left to do. That way, if you've ever lost, you can just chuck the map. Seriously? Were you an architect or something? This is so crisp. Alex, focus. I've marked two doors I noticed were open on our way down. As good a place as any to get started. Oh, and here's my pencil if you want to keep uh, keep it up to date yourself. Right, got it. Thanks. Torres, try and take it easy. I'll be back as soon as I can. Map added to inventory. And we can talk, use a map here. Okay. Now, hmm, okay, that's where, the stairs are where we came down, Taurus is up there at the top, the neutral looking stick man. Now, something here, We anything else to say, Taurus? She's not looking so good, I'll give her a chance to catch her breath. Okay. Something weird, um, I can't look at, oh, I can't look at these, but in the demo, when you came down the stairs, the first thing we did was went to this entryway. It says still locked. So it acts like it thinks I've locked it. Someone else has already tried to break down, break up before us. Guess there was no making it past the metal. Okay. Yeah, they, there's a metal sheathing out there. It's a little different from... When I did the demo, I can't, when I came down, it didn't immediately send me to the other end. It let me examine this first. And the fact that it's saying still locked makes it look like... Um, it thinks I did go over here. But okay, brooms. Another broken mirror. It's the stairway we came down. Um, okay, there's a bunch of stuff here, and anyway, so I'm trying to keep these to a relatively under hour long gap, so I'm going to stop right here, since I am now basically at the end of what I already knew from playing the demo, and starting next time, we're going to head off into the unknown. 
Until then, my name is Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and you have been playing the Tartarus Key. And I will see you next time.